All right, well, welcome everyone to this discussion about psychedelics on the spiritual path. For thousands of years, our ancestors have used psychedelics or entheogens in their spiritual, religious, and shamanic practices. And I think that today in this very special time in human history, this discussion is more relevant and more important than ever before. And I'm really excited today to be joined by my good friend, my brother, Christopher Jai Smith, who is a spiritual teacher and a published author. And I will include a link to his YouTube channel down below. Please check it out. But there is so much to be said here. So I kind of just want to dive right in. And I think it would be really interesting and really helpful to kind of break down a little bit the, the, this connection here between psychedelics and the spiritual experience or spiritual awakening. And maybe a good kind of jumping off point for that discussion would to be just to open up to you, like in what ways, if, if you don't mind sharing, have psychedelics influenced your own kind of awakening or journey thus far? Yeah, sure. Um, for me, the, the psychedelics was more of a, um, a comparison. So it was more of an after use. Um, initially, back in around 2008, I had a significant shift in consciousness through a number of internal and external circumstances and challenges that happened. And then it wasn't actually a number of years later till I actually worked with ayahuasca and worked with some psychedelic mushrooms as well and um, psilocybin. And that gave me a good comparison and good experience because I wanted to see how that maybe differed from traditional awakening or self-realization, self-discovery, meditation work. What were the differences there? Um, and I think that what I discovered with the psychedelics is that they're such a powerful experience in, in such a short period of time that there really can be a, a glimpse into what I feel is more of reality of what is actually there. So rather than it being something that is a hallucinogen, is it possible that it's actually opening us up to more of what is actually present already? But, but then even deeper than that, what I realized is that it's not any different from such as meditation or self-discovery work or coming more into truth in the sense that even though the experience might be different on the surface, a little bit more going on in a more extravagant way, the baseline of the experience, the baseline of each experience is still um, reality as it is. Mm. Whether we're having an experience of, of seeing different beings or seeing all of these psychedelic shapes and patterns and peering into maybe deeper dimensions of, of reality, the baseline of that existence, just as the baseline of this experience now of our everyday consciousness experience is still to see reality as it is beyond the mind. Mm. And I think that um, psychedelics can be a, a window, an opening into that seeing beyond the mind. Well, you said a lot of, you said a lot of really important um, points there, and that was very well said. Uh, I, I think that this idea that you're bringing up in terms of psychedelics not just being hallucinations, but potentially giving us access to expanded states of awareness that is, giving a, that is allowing us to contact a deeper, more fundamental truth or reality, as bizarre or weird as it appears, I think that has a lot of truth to it. And this brings me back to, this brings to mind uh, Aldous Huxley and his, his work with Doors of Perception. This idea that the mind is kind of a constricting valve for the, because there's so much uh, sensory input coming at us all the time. And so the mind really has to filter it all out and interpret and analyze constantly the experience and that tunes us into a very kind of narrow band or a narrow channel of experience, right? And so psychedelics can kind of cleanse or open these, these doors of perception, expand our perception so that rather than hallucinations, in not always, but in some cases, 
these psychedelic experiences are better understood as expanded states of perception, heightened states of perception, where we gain fundamental insights into the nature of reality, and more importantly, the nature of self. And you were kind of bringing this up a little bit, how sometimes these psychedelic experiences can be so wild and bizarre and, you know, unlike our everyday, ordinary waking uh, state of consciousness, and yet there is some core essence there that is still shining through unchanged. And this is, this is such an important revelation, I think, that psychedelics really grant very deep insights into the mystery of the self because the true self, that which we are, the essence, the deepest truth to our being is unchanging throughout all of these experiences. And so, and that, that's really what the, the, the spiritual uh, quest, if you will, is all about, is oriented around this fundamental question, who am I? What is the self? What is the mystery? What is the deepest truth to this mystery of the self? And psychedelics can, can, can give you a lot to work with there in a very, very profound and um, astonishing way, opening our minds and our hearts to an expanded uh, realm of possibilities that there is more, um, there is more to life. There is more to this mystery of life than what meets the eye. There's more to life than a physical universe, and there's more to what we are than just a physical body. Yeah, I like what you said about the unchanging uh, aspect, which is like say what really the core of the spiritual path. If we could pin it down to to one thing, it is to find that, as you've said, that is that is unchanging in the midst of everything that is changing. Because as as as, if, as we know, if we look closely at reality, everything is just a constant fluctuating nature, including the body and mind, including thoughts, feelings, and sense perceptions, and the whole. Um, material world but yet there is something that is we could even say is the experiencer mm. that is at the heart and, and core of each experience that we're having whether it is a an everyday waking consciousness experience whether it is a meditation experience whether it is a psychedelic experience whether it is um, a lucid dream experience an outer body experience all of these experiences an experience meaning something that comes and goes, that cannot last, that is changing, is being experienced by the experiencer that is not coming and going, that is not changing. Mm. Um, mm. And I think that psychedelics, one of the powerful things about it is that because the experience can be so powerful in such an intense sort of short period of time, it really can, as you say, open the doors of perception and kind of move out of the way that everyday um, thought process of perception that most people are, are in that seems to, to limit that range of consciousness. And it can kind of clean, sweep away those layers of the mind in order to reveal that sort of changeless aspect. Yes, you know? yes. And another key point here for me is as that changeless aspect is contacted in a more deep way, then you're also coming into, uh, coming into touch with what I would call the sacredness of life. The divinity, this, this, this sacred essence of the miracle of life. And this was one of the key things for me, like how psychedelics helped me on my, on my own journey. Uh, it was probably my very first psychedelic experience with mushrooms years ago. Um, but at that time, I was very much kind of in this like materialist paradigm. I, I would certainly not have called myself spiritual. I was an atheist. Um, but when I took, when I took uh, these mushrooms, um, <laughs> I was just looking around at the grass, at the trees, at the birds, at the insects flying overhead, these so-called simple and ordinary things the, that are in themselves a infinite mystery. <laughs> and yeah, psychedelics, by, th that is an experience, I think, of this kind of cleansed or expanded states of perception. And the more that, this, the, that perception 
uh, is, is cleansed in that sense, the more that everything appears as it is an infinite mystery. And as you really become curious and investigate this, in, this mystery in this moment, it's very apparent that there is like a intelligence almost or a beauty, a divinity in the way that everything is kind of self-organized with this infinite complexity and yet at the same time infinite harmony to make this all happen that, you know, it's that intelligence that is making our heart our hearts beat right now in this moment effortlessly without even trying. It permeates every cell in our body and every atom in existence, I believe. I've now come to see, come, come to see this through my psychedelic experiences, that there is this sacred quality to life. And it just puts, it, it put me in a state of complete awe. Like, uh, uh, like it humbled me in the sense that my intellectual, um, you know, my attempts to intellectually understand life were humbled by this, the immensity of this beauty and the, this, this magic which was suddenly very, very intensely apparent on the, in, in, in that uh, state with psilocybin. So, yeah, I mean, when, when trying to understand this relationship between psychedelics and spiritual experiences, it's kind of a difficult question in the sense that there is so much to be said. <laughs> mm -hmm. And uh, I think that on just about every every point of the spiritual experience from this kind of initial awakening to deepening into non-dual awareness, abiding in that awareness to this kind of actualization, going back out into the world and manifesting a more peace and love for our human collective. I think at every point all along the journey, psychedelics, when used in the right way, have the potential um, the potential to be a tremendous source of insight and creativity. 